Hey everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are working on some homemade cleaning products. Now it's important in homemade cleaning products that number one, in a bathroom situation, it's gonna dry fast so that you don't get into a situation with mold or mildew growing. And the second thing is, is that you want a disinfecting product. We all know during these times, it's really hard to find those products at the store right now. Now our local grocery store, they told us at the checkout recently that if you get there early in the morning, you, you may be able to get the supplies you're looking for because they're stocking them overnight. They're closed overnight for cleaning and disinfecting. So things that are running shortages right now, like toilet paper, disinfecting wipes and hand sanitizers, you can possibly get early in the morning but nobody's shipping out hand sanitizers. Now we regularly stock things like rubbing alcohol, peroxide, betadine, even aloe and vitamin E gels, including vodka. These are all great starter and base products that you need for homemade cleaning products and sanitizers. We even always keep on hand several essential oils some of the things that we normally have in our cabinet are cinnamon oil, lemon oil, tea tree oil, lavender oil, and eucalyptus oil. And peppermint oil is a nice scent to add to a lot of homemade cleaning products and sanitizers. You might be interested in why I mentioned vodka. Vinegar and soap do not mix. With having small children in the house, I've never been big on heavy disinfectants like bleach. I've never even liked the smell of Lysol. My mom used to use Lysol spray like crazy. Now there are certain times where I definitely want to grab the bleach. When somebody's actually really sick and we want to thoroughly clean the bathroom, bleach is definitely a good go-to. But for everyday cleaning and sanitizing, wiping down surfaces like the table, the counter, even the bathroom surfaces, including doorknobs and light switches, I want something easy, with little kids in the house, it's really nice to have products on hand that I can make on my own that are not as harsh as bleach or other store products. So today I'm here to show you how to make homemade disinfecting wipes and it's pretty simple and we already had everything on hand. Now I've already been making homemade cloth wipes. We started this when our third son was just a baby because he was in cloth diapers and it only made sense to do cloth wipes. Now that everybody in the house is potty trained, these come in handy to use as toilet paper substitutes, cleaning and disinfecting wipes, and just a quick cleanup when we need it. Now I like to have these in a sealed container. I've got these heavy containers that somebody picked up for me made by Rubbermaid. Any container that you can close to keep the air out will keep them moist. These have a rubber gasket and a locking lid, so I really like them for this application. And I'm just gonna put a couple of these into the bottom of the container. In my mixing bowl, I've got three tablespoons of soap, and I'm using Curse Castile liquid hand soap. You could easily use any soap you prefer. I've got a half a cup of vodka. Here's a cup and a half of distilled water. You want to use distilled water because there's no impurities in it. Any minerals, anything like that, it's all steamed out of it during the process of distillation. You're going to want pure lemon essential oil and pure tea tree oil essential oil. We're going to do 30 drops of tea tree oil. I figure it's always better to be on the heavy side than the light side. And 35 drops of tea tree oil. That should do it. I've got a nice rubber spoon for combining my ingredients in the bowl. Now you could mix this up in a blender. An immersion blender would work really well for this situation, but I'm not about to run out to the store during a self-quarantine to go get something that's not vital. Now I just pour this right over our wipes and I just do a couple layers at a time. Now, as you use these, just bring out any excess moisture.
Now tea tree oil can be a little bit strong and overwhelming if you're not used to that, and the lemon really helps with this. You can always add a couple drops of another essential oil if you like. I find it's really nice to bring in a little bit of lavender so it's not so strong. So that's our homemade disinfecting wipes, everybody. I hope this helps you and finds you safe and healthy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.